Here we are at the temple to Athena, which is actually right there. That's all that remains, three pillars. It was destroyed by earthquake, rebuilt, and time took the rest. This was built in 500 BC, which is like two and a half thousand years ago. I don't know if they erected these pillars or if they truly are the original construction. And down the road is a sanctuary to Apollo, which is on the map right here. But this is how it looked, I'm not sure how long ago, but it's a black and white picture, so probably a long time ago they took that picture. And that's the real thing. And I'll be able to walk right to the base of it so we can have a closer look. Let's do that. And here we are at the base of the Temple to Athena. So the pillars are all that remain with all these other stones around it. This is the base or the entrance to what at one time was a grand temple. Okay, there's a few more pillars kind of hanging, leaning over there. Now we're right at the base. Hopefully it doesn't fall on me at this point. That would be very bad luck. It looks pretty sturdy. Unless we get an earthquake right now, I think I'm pretty safe. Now those rocks, do they all come from that surrounding massive rock face? Maybe. But guys, this is two and a half thousand years old. That's pretty old. 500 BC, 480 BC built. Okay, and this looks like some of the original marble that they had as stones. It looks very white and smooth. That's probably been restored. Yeah. This would be one of the rooms in the temple. And let's continue walking around the site. You can see they've put little cables telling you where you're not allowed to walk. Now here's a stone tablet. I have no idea what it says, but there's an ant crawling on it. Maybe he can tell us. Oh, what is this? Doric treasury. Trezor Doric. And I don't have no idea how to pronounce that in Greek. Doesn't look very impressive, to be honest. Okay. So here we are. Ancient history. Nice to look nice to look at, but we want to look forward, right? Not backwards. Onwards and upwards. History is nice, but the real challenge is the future. Where are we headed? What are our goals? Reminds me of a joke. How do you make God laugh? Answer, tell him your plans. <laughs> what that means is all of us have all of these plans that we believe will come, but in reality, most of them will not. Isn't it funny how we still believe they will? All right. <laughs>